Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to discuss strongly typed view and we are going to see how to create strongly typed view. If you are interested in watching all the related videos, then you can find playlist link in the description. In ASP.NET Core MVC, a strongly typed view refers to a view that is associated with a specific model. This is our application. I'll click on Add Employee. Here we have a form. If you fill out the details and click on Submit, new employee will be added to the database. Look at the address bar. Here, if you look at this, you can understand that this request will be handled by Employee Controller and Add Action method. This will handle HTTP GET request and this, and this Add method will handle HTTP POST request. From this return view, we can understand that this action method returns a view. Here we have views folder. Inside views folder, we have employee folder. All the views related to employee controller will be there inside employee folder. Let's expand employee folder. Here we have add.cshtml and index.cshtml. This index action method returns index view and this add action method returns add view. I'll open add.cshtml. This view is not strongly typed as this is not bound to any model. You can also call it as loosely typed view. Then how to create strongly typed view? First step is to create a model that represents the data you want to display. See, here we have view models folder. We have created department view model and employee view model. These are going to be used by the views. We have separate video that shows how to create view models. You will find that video in the playlist. Next, in the view, use the at model directive to specify the model. Before setting this title, we are going to set the model. I'll use at model. We have to use at model directive. Then specify the model. I'll say employee view model. This model is inside this namespace. We, we have to add this namespace. That is one more option. Instead of having this namespace here, we have a dedicated place for this. Expand views folder. You can find underscore view imports file. This is a special file that holds the namespaces. Add that namespace here. When we add a namespace to this file, then we are making the namespaces available for use in all the reserve views within that specific folder and its subfolders. You can use model keyword to access the model data. The purpose of this view is to add data to the database using form. Still, I am making it strongly typed because I want to bind form data to this employee view model. Now, I will open department add.cshtml and I will make this strongly typed. I will use at model directive and, and I am going to use department view model. As we have already added the namespace to underscore view imports file, we don't have to specify namespace again. Strongly typed view offers several benefits. It improves code maintainability and it reduces runtime errors as it does compile time checking of the model properties within the view. And it saves development time as it provides intelligent support. In next video, we can discuss how we can bind form data to this model. That's it for today's session. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.